Assalamualaikum and good day. Today I want to share with the Amazon. We'll be presenting an essay outline about the unemployment among graduates in Malaysia. So first let's take a look about the content of this essay outline. First we have introductions, second overview of the problem, causes, consequence of unemployment, solutions and recommendation, and lastly, conclusion. So without further ado, let's take a look into the introduction, which is the most important part of the essay. In the introduction, we briefly introduce the problem of unemployment among graduate in Malaysia, and we also provide some background information on the significance of education and employment in Malaysia. Next, let's see about the overview of the problem. According to 2022 statistics, unemployment graduates in Malaysia number up to 187,000 and 198,000 in 2021. Around 90,000 graduates were estimated to be unemployed, unemployed in 2023. This number is particularly troubling considering the significant investment made in education and the high expectation placed on obtaining a degree for secure employment. Even though the number seems to be decreased, it still worrying matters to it as it's affecting more than BTI. Then, into the body part of the essay outline, which is the causes of unemployment among the graduate in Malaysia. Here, I uh, list three of the causes, which is first, edu educational systems, economic factors, and labor market dynamics. First, educational system. The Malaysian education system faced criticism for its emphasis on theoretical knowledge over practical skills, resulting in a mismatch between graduate qualification and employer expectation. Curricula often lack. So the second causes of the employment among graduate in Malaysia is the economic factors, whereas Malaysia economic landscape plays a crucial role in shaping graduate employment opportunities. Economic downturns such as the global financial crisis of 2008 and the COVID-19 pandemic have worsened graduates unemployment by shrinking job prospects across various industries. Here, well, in the essay, we can say that um, economic factors also play a significant role in driving graduates' unemployment. So, uh, we still can elaborate a bit about the economic factors, isn't it? So, here I elaborate a bit, which is Malaysia's economics, like many others, experience periods of growth and contraction impacting job availability and market demand. Economic downturns can worsen graduate unemployment as business become more cautious as businesses become more cautious in their hiring practice and job opportunities. Um, furthermore, structural structural issues within the labor market such as competition, limited limited job creation, and industry, industry stagnation further contribute to the challenge graduate face in securing meaningful employment. The third one is labor market dynamics. Well, I can say that it's causes of unemployment among graduate in Malaysia because uh, structural issues within the labor market contribute to graduates' unemployment, including rigid hiring practice preference for experienced candidate and inadequate job creation, discriminatory practice such as ageism and gender bias also hinder graduate access to employment opportunities, perpetuating inequalities in the workforce. So here you can see that uh, labor market dynamics causes of employment 
clauses to employ and employment among graduate in Malaysia? Well, you can say that um, in the essay, just um, elaborates more about it. Moreover, issues of labor market dynamics, including discrimination and various favorism in hiring practice and another another layer of complexity to the problem which is the problem of unemployment among graduates in Malaysia um, despite the efforts to promote meritocracy and equal opportunities instead of instance of nepotism or bias besides um, in certain sectors this this advantaging qualified graduates who may lack connection or social capital. This brings up feelings of frustration among unemployment and employed graduates and undermine confidence in the fairness of job market. Well, in the real world, we can see that uh, those who with, do who have more social, social and more connections um, can get job more easily. All right, then um, we go to the consequences of unemployment among graduates. Here I list uh, three of it, which is individual, social, and economic. First of all, let's take a look into the individual, which is um, what are the un unemployment uh, effect the individual. So unemployment takes a toll on graduates' mental health and will be leading to feeling of worthlessness, anxiety, and depression. Prolonged unemployment erodes confidence and self-esteem, hindering personal development and career progression. The consequences of graduates' unemployment are multifaceted and far-reaching, impacting individual families, communities, and the nation as a whole. On an individual level, unemployment can have profound profound physiology, psychological and emotional effects, leading to feeling of inadequacy, anxiety, and depression. Graduates may also experience a loss of confidence in their abilities and further pros prospect, further hindering their effort to secure employment. All right, and uh, what you call that? Um, in the social point of view, graduates' unemployment uh, contribute to social inequality and exclu exclusion, reporting cycles of poverty and marginalization. Well, here we can elaborate further in the essay. Well, it's just an essay outline, isn't it? Um, furthermore, graduates' unemployment contribute to social inequality inequality and exclusion, perpetuating cycles of poverty and limiting opportunities for upward mobility. Those from uh, background, marginalized background or with limited access to resources may face additional barriers in accessing uh, education and employment opportunities, resulting in disparities within society. Well, in social level also, stigmatization of the unemployment worsens social tensions, which you can say. Additionally, the stigma associated with unemployment can lead to social isolation, further marginalizing effect individuals and hindering their integration into workforce, which you can see that even in the social social level, the unemployment effect the graduates. Then into the economic level, which is economically, high rates of graduates unemployment have significant implications for Malaysia development trajectory. A large pool of unemployment graduates represent untapped human capital and wasted potential depriving the economy of valuable skills, innovation, and productivity. Moreover, the long-term consequence of an underemployment or career stagnation among graduates can impede 
economic growth and competitiveness, hindering Malaysia's ability to thrive in an increasingly globalized and knowledge-driven world. So, um, for the third part of the body essay, which is the solution and recommendations, um, we have three listed here, which is education reform, public awareness and advocacy, and the last one is economic policies. So the first solutions and recommendation here are uh, education reform, which is revised curricula to incorporate practical skills and industry re relevant training, ensuring graduates are equipped with the competencies needed for modern workforce. Um, or else, foster closer collaboration between educational institution and industry to align economic program with market demands and facilitate smoother transi transition into employment. So that's the idea where we can write um, first and foremost, effort must be made to reform the education system to better align curricula with industry need and equip graduate with the skills and competency demanded by employers. This may involve enhancing vocational training program, promoting interdisciplinary learning, and fostering closer collaboration between educational educational institution. Um, and industry partner. So the se second solutions that we can make is the public awareness and advocacy, which is um, we can launch public awareness campaign to challenge stereotypes and misconceptions surrounding unemployment, which is will promoting empathy and solidarity toward those affected by the issue. Um, in the essay, we can say that um, Moreover, efforts to raise public awareness and destigmatize destig, um, unemployed can help create a more supportive and inclusive environment for those affected by the issue. Support programs aimed at assisting unemployed graduates should be expanded and strengthened, provide, providing comprehensive services such as career counseling, skills development, and job placement assistance. This program should be accessible to all graduates, regardless of background or education, educational attainment, and tailored to meet the specific needs of in of the different individual and industry. Um, the last solution and recommendation, which is economies um, policies. So the idea is implement implement measure to stimulate job creation and promote entrepreneurship, particularly in high growth sectors such as technology, renewable energy, and healthcare. Um, here, we can write, additionally, economic policies should be prioritized job creation, investment in key industry, and the development of a dynamic and resilient um, labor market. Measures such as tax incentive for business support for small and medium enterprise and targeted infrastructure project can stimulate economic growth and create new employment opportunities for graduates. Furthermore, um, efforts to promote entrepreneurship and innovation can empower graduates to pursue an alternative pathway to employment and contribute to economic diversification. The last part of the body, which is conclusions. Here, um, some example of it. Um, in conclusion, addressing the challenge of graduate unemployment in Malaysia requires concerted effort from government, educational institution, um, institution, businesses, and civil society by tackling the root causes of the problem, implementing effective policy intervention and providing target support to unemployed graduates, Malaysia can unlock the full potential of its human capital and build a more 
prosperous and equitable future for all its citizens. All right, I think that's all um, the presentation for me.